I'm a veteran of six years in the United States Army. I was an OH-58 helicopter crew chief. I was in the Navy. I was a hydraulics mechanic on aircraft. Joined the service when I was 17 years old. I had, in fact, I had my 18th birthday in boot camp. I went for field artillery. I'm a sailor. I am from the Navy. I got out honorably, and once I got out, um, I got into drugs, which I've been doing for over 30 years now. I was uh, involved in the drugs, and then also uh, it took me to prison. It took me away from my job and my family. So I worked out half the month's rent, and then when the new owners came in, they said that, oh yeah, yeah, we'll work something out, but they raised up rent on me, and they, they gave me no work. So that's how I became homeless. I became widowed and lost my cookies, you might say, and I dove into drugs. And then my family was kind of fed up with uh, the fact that I was a repeat offender. So uh, they didn't really have their hands open to me. So I have lived in tents, warehouses, uh, abandoned houses. I've showered or taken baths, whatever, washed up in parks. I washed in canal ditches. I've, I've eaten food out of dumpsters. Uh, I've some, done some pretty bad, illegal things, and um, I'm not proud of it. But when you got your wife and kids with you, it's, you gotta be watching out for everything, because they never know what happens. You know, it's, it's too rough out there for kids and wife. You just don't know. <laughs> I mean, living on the streets is scary. Thank God and everybody for the, the opportunity to live there, because to me, it's a gift. We went to take a look at it the other day, and it's beautiful. I just know that there's people out there that do care now. It opens up a whole bright new world. <laughs> I'm gonna give you your cute towel. So Come on in. Oh wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this place. Wow. It's big. Thank you so much everybody. Oh my god. Look at you. I just feel so, I feel good, really good. Oh man, look at this. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Oh man, everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> Thank you. This is mine. This is mine. I feel like a human again. I feel like a person. I love it. I can't, I can't get over it. The people here are terrific. The staff is unbelievable. To be able to turn that key, me and my wife together, and then walk in that door. It was just, it's, it's beautiful. Since I got my house, I have inherited two dogs. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in school now for my nursing license. I'm still clean and sober. I got a year and a month. And I go to church, I got baptized. I just, I'm, I'm finally living a life above water. Well, I'm just kind of getting stable still. I'm just, I'm soaking it all in because it's still overwhelming for me. And I'm learning how to be social and being getting out and learning how to interact with people again. And it's not easy. <laughs> Well, first first day we moved in, my wife, she cried. I mean, she couldn't believe it. I mean, everything was, because uh, 
It's hard for her to walk and she's in the wheelchair and everything was like in her level. I mean, like the closet, it was, you know, like. That's my thing at school. Um, I really feel out of place there. Everybody's so young. I get a chance to get out and work at least once or twice a week. And then other than that, I'm trying to keep my house clean. I'm trying to uh, uh, get more in touch with my grandkids and, and my son. I'm truly blessed and thankful. <laughs> I know I have choices today. And my choice is to stay clean. We're, all, we're like family right here. Help each other out with food or whatever we need. Yeah. If I ever need anything, all I gotta do is knock on someone's door and nine times out of 10, they got it. They can do the same to my door too. I appreciate it very much. I'm like, right outside and during the winter, no one needs to be out there. Oh, so, man. you know, so we're very blessed. I've grown so much going to school and taking classes. I'm taking peer, su peer support specialist and I'm going to be helping here at, at the VA. They're going to hire me when I get my certificate. And um, I'll be working with female vets that are just coming into the VA healthcare system. The people that run it are great people. Yes. And uh, they keep us with food, they keep us with activities, and it's just something I've never experienced. You know, they have the, like, the painting activities, the yoga or maybe not as fast as I'd like to. Um, I had to slow down a little bit because I was getting a little overwhelmed maybe, um, panicked a little bit, but it's all passion. My granddaughter, she's doing real good in school. It was hard for her to get adjusted because she was used to her old friends and it was a new place, but she got adjusted. She's doing real good, so we're all doing fine. My food, I've always got food now. Um, I eat and I've just got all that basic stuff I didn't care about before. It's all a part of living and you need that. And it's about responsibility and being, just trying to be a better person every day. And I feel really good.